Hello, hello. I am um, going to wait until some people pop in, but I do have a couple of things to say tonight, and I have, I hope you can hear me. Um, let me see if, hello, hi. If you're on and you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Just test the mic. I have a new mic and I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Awesome. So you can hear me, Mikkel? Michael, sorry. See, it's a habit. It is a habit. We're going to be talking about that today. So, not your name. Habits. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear me, so I typed, can you hear me? I want to see, oh, beautiful. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Um, give me one second. Yeah, so interesting day. Interesting day. Here's my camera. Um, <laughs> I have moved to my desktop. I'm like, where's everything at? Um, yeah, it is that kind of day. It's been that kind of energy. Um, it's It's been a little nuts. Um, and I realized this is leveling up. This is how I'm leveling up. And it's probably happening to you guys too, because we're going through another shift. So it's like when people are oh, triggering you, um, like really pushing your buttons and you're reacting and you're not really sure why you're reacting, but you're reacting. And, and that happened to me today and it just clicked after I talked to my, my wonderful husband. Um, he pointed out exactly what was happening and it was a shift that I needed to be ready for because, um, it was a test of my boundaries, I should say. And, um, my boundaries were, they were tested because I was pushed outside of my comfort zone. And that happens to people all the time. Say hi if you're just dropping in. I can't tell who's watching right now because I'm on my desktop and it's all, it looks way different than normal lives that I do. So, um, but I can see your comments. So if you type a comment, I can see it. Um, but we're talking about leveling up energetically tonight. And really, I just wanted to come on and say, Whenever you're triggered, whenever you feel like your boundaries are being tested or pushed, you're getting ready to level up. You're getting ready to go to the next level, the next circle of people, the next, you know, the next circle of things or events or whatever it is that you're creating in your life. Um, when things start to get uncomfortable and you're ready to step out of your comfort zone, that's when things start really like the universe is like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to do this. And um, I'm going to trip you up a little bit. Well, it's not so much, hi honey. Um, it's not so much there, the universe is trying to trip you up. They're seeing if you're ready. The universe is testing your, your resolve, your wherewithal, seeing if you're ready to go, ready to level up. So really what's happening is it's the checks and balances system. You know, it's like all systems go, or we're ready for launch. You know, it's counting down to say, all right, check, 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 check. Oh, trigger. Wait, we need to work there. We need, we need to do some work there. What's that? So, um, yeah, when we're triggered, it is a reflection of what we are dealing with on a deeper level. Maybe our boundaries aren't very tight there. Um, my trigger was people pleasing. That came up hard for me. Um, and I was really upset because I felt like I had to have these people like me and I really don't, I, I don't have to have them like me. Um, but it was a people pleasing behavior that resurfaced from when I was younger. Um, I was a huge people pleaser. And a lot of people think like when you heal and you release things energetically that you just heal and you move on like it's linear. It's not linear. It's actually a spiral. So if you start down here at the bottom of the spiral, you start spiraling up and up and up and you revisit what you've released because you may not have released the whole lesson or you may not have learned the whole lesson yet or you may still have some work to do on a certain thing. So with my people pleasing came up today for me. Um, hard. And 
it's not that I'm still stuck down here where I was. It's that I have continued to grow and I am still moving up. See this spiral that I'm, I'm circling is still moving up. And as I'm moving up the spiral, I am revisiting places that I've been, but from a different energetic perspective. Does that make sense? Like from a different energetic perspective that gives us the ability to recognize things and shift. Hey, Lunar. <gasps> Mitzi! Oh my God, you're here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, I love you. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, Mitzi and I go way back. At least, what, six years now? So anyway, um, so when you level up, you kind of revisit some things if you weren't done with those yet. And um, my my coach, I have a wonderful coach. Um, she got triggered. Somebody had stolen her entire like course program and like put it up on their their website vault, like per, uh, subscription vault, word for word, like verbatim everything she had to send a cease and desist order out she had to like tighten her boundaries she had to do a bunch of stuff and she's like hang on it's coming and i'm like no it's not i guess what it arrived it arrived today so um energy it's 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 being shaken up and when we're brought back around to where we were um we can see the growth that we've made but we can also make those fine-tuned adjustments so we can continue to grow, so we can continue going up this spiral and leveling up our energetic consciousness, which is a beautiful, wonderful thing. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you guys have any questions, pop them into the comments. Um, oh, yay, Mitzi, I just saw your comment. I'm giving you a virtual hug. Um, and uh, anyway, all I have to say, <laughs> All I can think of is, what was it, like, Thanksgiving 2016 or something like that. Like, all, that's all I can remember. But I, I remember lots more of it. It's a, it's a thing. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I was just talking about Black Bear today um, to someone who just was phenomenal and has, has a, um, a daughter-in-law who is an addict. And it was incredible the conversation that we had today and yes mark i did make her cry um not on purpose but from relief that's a joke that mark and i have because anybody who visits me at my shop um they end up crying if they're if the it's the first time we're connecting um not because i upset them but because i give permission i give them permission to feel i give them permission to feel and i validate them and really isn't that all we want is permission to feel and to feel validated um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's an incredible thing. Um, so I've been talking a lot about energy consciousness and my whole focus here is being an energy consciousness guide and I'm working with the chakra systems, um, focusing on the seven main ones. And I'm going to be talking about the, the 12 because we've leveled up. So we're ready for the next set, the next five, um, starting with our earth star and going up from there, but we have to get the seven in us. Um, yeah, good comment, Mark. Um, I'll come back to that in a second, but we have to get the seven in us aligned and solid and flowing before we can level up and, and work on the, the other five chakras. Um, there's 114 total chakras, but that's, I'm getting off topic. So <laughs> that's, that's another course. Um, but yeah, Mark, it, it is, it's okay to revisit feelings that, that trigger you, but the fact that you're aware of being triggered is the part where you're leveling up. You know, you feel through it and you continue on and you continue to go. So, you know, instead of pouting all night and being angry and like, oh, why don't they like me? Mm, you know, I'm sitting here doing a live talking to you wonderful people about leveling up and realizing, oh, okay, let's tighten my boundaries here and let's work on this. And, you know, that's, that's really all you can do because somebody's actions toward you are not because of you. It's a direct reflection of them and their triggers. I'll say that again. Somebody's actions and behaviors toward you are not because of you. It's a direct reflection of their triggers and their actions, okay? Um, 
so I know a lot of people are going through some stuff, and I hope my friend Jen would be on here. Um, I hope that you watch the replay, Jen. Jen B, if you're watching, um, this is for you. I saw you had a, a, a comment. She was like, anybody else want to try me today? <laughs> That's kind of like how I felt. Um, but it is just... <sighs> It's it's like a it's like you you hit a brick wall when you get triggered, and when something else comes up and you're like, oh, I thought I handled you, like I thought I handled you, and I thought you were done, and I thought you were out of my life, and then bam, hi, here I am again. I'm not done with you. You're like, oh, so. But every time you go around that spiral, and you revisit that point, it gets easier, and it gets easier. And it gets easier. And you know that the cone, and as you're going up the, the spiral, the spiral gets wider. And it gets wider and wider. And it takes longer to come back around to that trigger point. And it, like, the orbit just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And pretty soon, it's not even going to be on your radar. And you're not going to have to revisit that anymore because you've learned the lesson. You've internalized it. And you've moved on. You've leveled up. So anytime something is going wrong, um, that things are going bad, that um, it is, it's not like, oh, woe is me. I can't ever do anything right. Like, because honestly, like I used to be that person. I used to beat myself up hard. Um, like, I can't even fix this. No, no, you've already fixed it. Yes. But when you, when you continue around and you get to that point again, it's a new lesson. It's a new look. It's a test to say, did you really get it? Maybe you cleared most of it out, but here's a couple more cobwebs you need to address. You know? And it, it, it'll keep, like, filtering out and fizzling out until it's nothing. So let me see. Oh, here's a comment. Okay, Mincy said, I love your analogy of it being a spiral and not linear. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, it's so true. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. Um, yeah, it, and sometimes it can feel like we're thrown back into the, like, I thought I cleaned that mess up. How am I back here cleaning this mess up again? And it's, you know, it's something that it's super difficult sometimes, but if you find yourself back in that loop, try to look at it from a different perspective. Ask yourself, what is this teaching me? What am I supposed to learn from this? And the more you get accustomed to working with this and you know leveling up energy, the easier it's gonna be to figure it out. It took me a conversation with my husband tonight to figure it out. I would have figured it out eventually, you know, probably tomorrow after I finished stewing and being angry. But, um, you know, it, it was super clear, you know, and then I texted my best friend and I'm like, Hey, you know, blah, 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 word vomit. And she's like, Oh, were you triggered back in high school? And I'm like, ah, you know, this is so like this, this was a high school thing, you know, this used to happen. And I, I'm like, wow. And it's so crazy how our brains work and how the energy works and how the universe tests us to make sure things are clear. So we're ready to move on and ready to level up. Um, and speaking of leveling up, the new moon is coming um, very shortly here. And this is the most powerful time to set intentions of the entire year. March 20th, March 20th, 21st. That's the, the spring equinox. Okay, that is a super, super powerful time. And whenever you are setting intentions with that new moon on the equinox moon, it is, I'm, like, I'm just getting chills everywhere. It is so powerful and so phenomenal and it will set the tone for the next year and I'm talking like till the next spring equinox um and do it do it big you know we're ready the earth has leveled up just like you have leveled up so whatever your intentions are whatever you're looking to create in your life whatever you're trying to do level up it's time you know we're ready um and you know this was interesting for me because I'm trying to figure out I have all these courses and stuff I really want to share with you guys but I keep talking you know to to different people and I keep getting you know information and dreams and you know talking to my guides and I'm like you know what I I need to talk to people about shifting their energy and about triggers and about um rewriting stories and that has come through so much is rewriting your story 
because the woman I talked to today, um, I won't say her by name, but if you're listening to this, you know, it's you. Um, but, oh, and just, just FYI, if you see a little live here, this one right here, if it, there's a little box that says live here, a little red box, that means that this is happening now. If this is not here, this happened before and you were watching the replay. So um, if you are writing a comment and you are on the replay, I may not get it. So message me if you would like to talk. Um, but if the red box is still up there, we're still live, comment away. So we were talking today about a lot of stuff um, and a lot of things that happened in her life or that she was dealing with, I had already been through. I had already dealt with some of those exact things. And it's, it's funny that the universe brings you people, not funny that, I should say funny how the universe brings you people um, that you are able to help and guide because based on your own experiences that you have already been through. You know, that's why I say anything that bad happens to us, it happens to us to teach us how to help other people, how to help other people through maybe that similar or same situation. And while it's happening to us, it feels horrible, terrible, worst thing ever. And then when we get through it and somebody else comes and they're feeling horrible, terrible, worst thing ever, and we're like, oh, no, 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 here's some hope, here's some light, here, I'm on the other side. Here's what it looks like. I know exactly where you are. I feel you. I validate you. I give you permission to feel what you're feeling. But here's how. You can get through it. You know, here's what I did. Maybe it'll help you. You know, and, and they're so grateful. And they just want to cling on to you and say, yes, I knew there was somebody out there. I knew, you know, divine connection. And that's what happened today. I mean, that's how I had another person crying in my booth. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's become a joke, but it's a very touching moment. You know, if that was ever you, um, it's, it's a super touching moment. And yeah, I mean, oh, yes, Lunar, perfect. Yeah, Ascension is a lifelong journey. Um, right. To be a lifelong learner, you have to constantly grow. You have to constantly reexamine and go up that spiral. Um, that's why I never, you know, once I've, I, I, had that concept down that life is a spiral and not so much linear, like it's just, it, it made things so much easier. Things made so much more sense um, to me anyway. So <laughs> every weekend, yeah, almost every weekend, I do have a box of tissues now <laughs> specifically for my criers. Um, and, you know, sometimes I cry too. Um, but crying is it's a good thing i'm not making fun of crying crying is a beautiful release and salt water is a beautiful um balance balancer of energy so crying is a very helpful thing so if you ever feel like you have to cry let yourself cry find a spot find a space let yourself cry let it out don't keep that stuff inside okay that's what i'm trying we just had a conversation with our 11 year old yesterday about that um she is you know, having some issues at school and, you know, with growing up too fast and, you know, all those things. So we're just trying to, to balance things out for her. And, and we're saying not so much, well, you know, don't feel that way because I grew up in a household and maybe some of you can resonate with this. I grew up in a household where, um, I was told that, you know, stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. That was my health. Yeah. So that just made me feel worse. And that made me feel unvalidated, not validated. That made me feel um, not supported. And it, it just, it was not good. So, you know, I, I don't get like that with my kids. If they're upset, they're allowed to feel. And that's what I try to teach everybody, that when you are upset or when you are happy or when you are angry or when you are whatever emotion, allow it. It's not going to be forever. Allow it, feel it, and then release it. It doesn't define you. Okay? Emotions don't define you. They are you, but you don't need to become them. Does that make sense? So if you are feeling something... Um, parenting 101, yeah, yeah, um, if, 
you're feeling something that knocks you off balance, feel it. It's okay. Um, because all of the chakra systems, that's it's based on, we call it the gut instinct, but really that's your sacral and solar plexus, right? Um, but we have that feeling for a reason. We have that feeling for um, a signal to us to tell us that, hey, something's not right. Hey, take a step back. Whoops, slow down. You know, one of those things. And um, a really interesting thing that happens sometimes is that we can internalize something so deeply that we pass it on to the next generation. True story. There was a scientific experiment done with bees, um, bumblebees. And there were two flowers presented, two groups of flowers. And the, I don't know what kind of flowers they were, but let's say the red flowers versus the yellow flowers. The red flowers were tampered with purposefully and they were poisoned. And the bees, when they would collect the pollen and drink, you know, whatever from these, the nectar from the flowers, the red flowers, they would die. The bees who drank from the yellow flowers only would live. Okay, so that was the first generation. Second generation of bees from those same bees, that same hive, didn't touch the red flower. But this time the red flower wasn't tampered with, it was perfectly safe and it was perfectly healthy. But there was an imprint in this next generation of bees that said, nope, red flower bad. And then they waited another cycle, another cycle, another cycle, and the bees continued to not touch the red flowers. There was absolutely nothing wrong with them except for the very, very, very first cycle. So when we talk about ancestral baggage or ancestral damage that we carry along our lines, especially the mother line um, for, for women, um, and that can affect men too, but it it's real. We hold that energy. And when you stop that, when you stop that energy and stop passing that through to the next generation, it stops it for your entire line. And it goes back and erases it for all of your ancestors. When you say, no, sorry, not my story. That's not my story. And I'm changing it right now. When you recognize it, when you validate it and say, nope. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. Mark, yeah, he said, you know, his was not to feel, to build a wall instead of feeling it. You know, digesting, feeling, and learning. Um, and he's come such, such a long way. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, get into that conversation right now. But, you know, maybe sometime down the road, well, Mark and I can talk about it together. But, um, yeah, I mean he's come such a long way. He was emotionally unavailable for a really long time. And I don't know if you know people like that who, who just kind of wall off and close up. That was him. And there's, there's hope. He's wonderful now. You know, he allows himself to feel as uncomfortable as it might be, but it, it passes. And he understands himself better and other people. And, you know, like this whole new world opened up. Um, but it really happens. Like it is affecting us. We have an energetic imprint, an instinctual imprint, you know, not to touch the red flowers. But what if the red flowers were just bad that one generation, you know, back then? What if the red flowers are perfectly fine now and we're missing out? What if we're not allowing ourselves to really truly live and connect with us and our soul purpose because of things that we were taught things that our parents were taught, things that our grandparents were taught, and so on and so forth down the line. Yeah, when I realized that, I was like, wow. Yeah, mind blown. So, um, and I can see the difference now, even with my parents, um, the difference between their expectations of me and what I should do versus what I do. And it, it's completely not anywhere in their realm of approval. Um, they support me. They know that I make a good living at it. And um, they, they're not really sure what they're supporting, though. They're supporting their daughter. Um, and they've come through a, long, through a long way, too. And 
it's it's expectations but the thing is our story is our story you know it's not the story that your parents told about you it's not the story that your friends or or enemies or employers or strangers on the street in like one split second told about you it's not those stories you are your own story you're in charge of your own story all of that other stuff is false beliefs limiting beliefs things that aren't real things that aren't yours i worked with a woman when i say worked i mean this is one of my counseling things um she was a woman who had a a very difficult time with eating she had a, um, a big eating disorder um not like an anorexic or bulimic thing but that she would just overeat when she got super stressed she would go right to the food and she would gorge herself and then she would feel horrible and terrible like bad 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 about it um couldn't break the cycle struggled with weight her entire life so i, I took her back and we did some regression and she ended up realizing that this story where she started using food as a reward and then felt bad about it happened when she was a kid at a buffet and her dad was bragging to you know whomever they were having dinner with that hey look my daughter's only eight and she's going up for more food at the buffet look how much food she can pack away you know and that was oh man I'm getting praise from my dad I'm getting good vibes you know this is awesome I'm gonna go I'm not hungry anymore but I'm gonna go get another plate because I love this attention I'm getting from my dad and then she got sick that night and nobody was there for her her dad wasn't there for her when she was vomiting up all the food that she forced herself to eat because she was getting praise from her father now her father never made that connection her father's intention was never to say I want to make my baby girl sick at the buffet no he was going based on oh my gosh look you know she cleared her plate which is probably something that he had been taught before I know I was always taught to clear my plate clear my plate and then oh here do you want more do you want more um yeah oh hey Karen yes definitely it's definitely possible to break the chain so I, I had her realize that this was never her story this was never her truth and she had been living someone else's truth and someone else's story for years and years and decades of her life and struggling with something that wasn't even hers it was such a profound moment when she released that and that's another thing too we were talking about today um with this wonderful woman that i met is that when you're in traditional therapies and um you are working through traditional therapies and you are rehashing and rehashing and revisiting and reliving and going over it and here it is again and it's just kind of like you're beating a dead horse you know you're pounding it, it, it it's just over and over and over and over and you're just you can't let it go you're actually making it deeper and ingraining it deeper and like really pushing it down into the core of your being well what we really need to do is to release that stuff we don't need to rehash it we don't need to let it define us we don't let it need we don't need to let it um control us or decisions that we make we release it and we move on so you know that's kind of that's what i do that's what i help with is is rewriting stories and releasing things and moving on and balancing our energy centers and our energy consciousness and it is all all interrelated I have this wonderful course about rebuilding your vessel and vessel is such a sacred term and that's what I want to call our bodies our vessels um, to you know break down those those stories that aren't yours and to break down those self-limiting beliefs that other people programmed you with that aren't really yours and rebuild that like break it down release that stuff and rebuild so you are creating something magical and wonderful and true to who you are it's an amazing thing so um i want to talk about that I, I have a lot of cool stuff coming up for new moon and full moon stuff um i have a twice a month kind of like class um subscription that i'm going to be launching here 
and I'm still working on my website. I started a TikTok today, you guys. I'm going to have to find an 11-year-old and learn. Um, no, but seriously, I, I started a TikTok today. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna adapt that into my social media. And uh, that doesn't mean you guys have to run out and get one if you don't have one. But if you do, I'm at sign Sandra Joy Soul, S-O-L, at the end. And, um, and I'll write that down here. Oh, yeah, definitely. It is a light bulb moment. So my TikTok is, and also this is my Instagram and my Facebook and everything else. It's all at Sandra Joy Soul. Or maybe not my Facebook. But yeah. So um, that's my TikTok and Instagram handle. Oh, and Clubhouse. I'm on Clubhouse. If anybody needs a Clubhouse invite and you guys have a um, uh, an Apple, um, an iOS device, I have six invites. So I can share those. And you know they're perfectly free. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, I have a lot of good stuff coming up, but I really just want to, you know, super recap from the beginning of this. If you missed it, um, boundaries are tested when we level up. So we're leveling up energetically and people's boundaries are getting tested. I was triggered the other night about somebody selling fake Moldavite. And I'm like, oh man, you know, how is this person doing this? And they have 36,000 followers, 36,000 followers on Facebook. And they're selling fake Moldavite for $85. And it really was triggering me. And I'm like, you know what? Walk away. That's not that's not my monkey. That's not my circus. You know, it's just not. And that person will have to deal with the ramifications of selling fake Moldavite. Because someone's going to call them out on it. But it's not my job. It's not me. I didn't buy it. I know better. You know? So, um, yeah. Anyway. And while I'm in here, too, I want to... Um, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm going to go live in, in the Crystal group here soon and talk about Moldavite um, just to give a quick update because I've had a lot of questions about it. And anyway, so yeah, that's it. If any of you have any questions or want to talk about anything, I'll leave it open for questions right now. Um, otherwise, I'm done yapping. And, um, you know, I hope this, this helped or meant something or, you know, helped someone in some way. So if you're watching the replay of this, um, thank you. If you're hung around for the whole live thank you and or even just popped in for a couple of minutes thank you I do truly appreciate you all right if you have any questions just pop them into the comments and I will talk to you guys soon all right okay love and light you guys <laughs>